Hi, welcome back um, to our new theme now. With these videos, I've attached it all to um, our photography club now, which um, you can find in Second Life. And you, if you go to ourphotographyclub.com, you can get some information on how to join it and just join the gang basically and hang out with other photographers and Photoshop users. Anyway, what I'm going to look at today is a, is a bit of software called um, Flaming Peer. It is a really cool s piece of software. Um, they do a lot of plugins for Photoshop and we're going to look at one plugin in particular today. Um, anyway, let's get started. I'll put the, uh, I will put the website address in the show notes next to this video. Anyway, let's uh, minimize that and have a look at a portrait here of Justin. Um, shot with my 400D camera in front of a, uh, a background which I've had only for a little while. And I think this was done with just a normal on flash camera. Anyway, what I, what I want to do is <coughs> I want to come up to filter and drop the filter button down and you'll find flame in here and I'm going to go to Mr. Contrast and we get this little work bit, little workstation up. Now we can press this button down here and it will randomize the effects so we can keep pressing that until we get to something close to what we're looking for. And I'm looking for sort of a uh, Blue Tony, I can't really describe. Oh, I had it then. I've got to get going. Keep trying to get it again. That was not a bad one. Not bad. Right, just for time's sake, I'm gonna stop about there. That's actually quite a nice effect. So now I'm gonna go through the dials one by one, very briefly. Detail size, and so I'm gonna smoothing out some of that detail there. This is the glow size. I quite liked it about there. Soft glow. You've you got to take these to the extremes to see what they do. That's a very subtle effect there. And the harsh glow. There you go. Let's just take it right down for a minute. No. Okay. And. That one doesn't seem to do much. Colorize. Oh, this, this is what I like. I like to set the color right down. Just put just a touch of color in there. Very subtle bit of color. Now we're on the mix bit. This is called a drip response dry mix. So I suppose I had to name it something. Detail mix. Ooh. Okay. Soft glow mix. Okay. Not bad. Curves. Ooh. Boost the contrast just a little bit there. And I'm just going to come back to that colour. Where's that colour gone? I'll leave it black and white actually. You can change the, the uh, colour color here. In fact, let's see what that does. As you can tell, I haven't really played with this that much. Ooh, don't like that. No. Don't like that at all. Ooh. It's time to just play around with this a little bit. <coughs> oh, excuse me. This is like on a random sort of put a tone for it. Oh, that's not a bad tone. That's nice. Okay. And if you're happy with that, we can press OK. Oh, by the way, down here, you can undo. And that's your randomized one. This one is you can open a pre-saved setting, which is handy if you're going to use bulk, you know, a batch and a batch of images. And here you can save it. Your all these settings you can save it. So that's pretty good. So uh let's say okay to that. Let it do its work. There it goes. and it's done and now we've got this little blue tone 
but you can do so many different effects with this software it's amazing and then all you got to do is save that out and uh, yeah it's done it's just um, zoom it into about 100% for a minute that's 107 ish nice it's a nice way of um, playing around with photos giving them a bit more punch anyway hope you enjoyed that quick tutorial um, just showing you a quick way of doing something basically um, it's worth taking a look I'm not affiliated to this software I don't make any money from it um, I just thought it'd be nice to show you it and uh, let you have a play around with it you can get a demo a free demo uh, the only thing is though once you once you come out of that little screen this would have a grid over it on the free version but yes yeah, it's, um, it's good fun anyway I hope to see you down the clubhouse um, alphatographyclub.com and uh, yeah it'd be nice to meet Meet all the members down there. Anyway, speak to you soon.